What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So, there's a hybrid that's really cool and it's called Tyrannometrodon. It's pretty cool. So it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex mixed with a Postimetrodon. So that's pretty cool. You can talk to give it, it's like T-Rex with this big sort of like Spinosaurus type back on it, right? So let's give it a go. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with the eye. Center point of my page is about here. Come up over to the right a little bit. So start with this sort of standard sort of eye shape, kind of like a lemon or like an almond or a grain of rice, right? Like that. And then the iris. So I like the colored part just here. And then the pupil in the middle. T-Rex has a round pupil. Okay. So then we've got like top eyelid line, bottom eyelid line, and then like lots of sort of wrinkle lines and stuff around this. Around his eye, right? So his eye socket is like, you know, it's sunken in sort of around his bones and stuff. So you have this bone at the back of T-Rex's head. So we're back here. There's a bone here and a bone here. And we can put some textures on his skin. Okay, so then we have this big sort of frowning sort of line, right? So it's like, it's got this big sort of eyebrow sort of shape that comes down this way, right? Just makes him look kind of angry. And this has all sort of textures underneath it as well. Like some wrinkles going back this way. And this eventually will run down his nose, right? So it'll come down his snout. It's like this big spike down to there. And then it's got this angled top frowning section going back down here. And then it's got a ridge that goes, runs the whole way down this, right? So we'll go in this particular one, we'll go this way. down there and then this will have textures that go up the ridge on this side and then across the ridge over here like around like so so then he's got an extra sort of shape inside the nose here underneath it sort of like that so this is this bone section now that raises up and it's got like little curved texture lines and then the bone section at the back of his head so we'll go sort of back this way and then we have this extra section in there and this will have all wrinkles on it as well you can do these circles together just to show that he's kind of like scaly you know, these little circles. All right. So then the bottom of the jaw comes down this way. And T-Rex has this big curving section on the bottom. There. And then this goes down around for his lip. And then up and down at the front. So the rest of the snout comes up this way, over, it's kind of like bumpy here. And it just goes up this way. And then we can see some of his eyebrow on the other side. Right. 
nostril in here, just color it black. And sometimes with these T-Rex sort of creatures, I like to add some scars, like they've been in fights and stuff. I think it just makes them look a little bit more intense, right, that kind of thing. And you just add some texture on the inside. And then we gotta put like texture on his skin on his on his face. And then we've got this sort of line that runs across his top lip. And And then sort of just you can add some like extra textures and all stuff to the skin if you want. Make some lines coming up and around the snout and stuff like this. Okay, so that's the top of his head. So then the bottom jaw, right, comes out from this corner line, down, like that. And then it'll run underneath, so his mouth's kind of open, right? Up like that. And it goes in around his teeth, and then we'll join the top of that, curving a couple of times and down into there. And again, more scars and stuff. I just think scars are always good on a T-Rex. And then the top lip line, like the lip line on the top here, technically the bottom lip, I guess. Just these texture lines then. And like circles and dots and bumpy stuff textures all over so you're just following the shape and then like curving it around like so then we have that piece of skin that joins the top and bottom jaw and this will have some texture lines on it as well So T-Rex teeth, they're kind of small here. And they will gradually, well on the bottom, they kind of stay small, I think. Might be one or two bigger ones. Like so. And then, Top teeth just up here. They're kind of rounded on top. Like that, right? So then, so you can see the tongue coming across here. Sort of down like this. Like so. And then we can see a few teeth on the other side of the mouth, kind of in here, right, with the gum line going across underneath here. 
and then the gum line on the other side here. Around like that. And then there's like all teeth coming down from this. And you can see the other side of his mouth just there. Okay, and like some textures in the mouth in there as well. Okay, maybe another big tooth here, I think should be. Okay, so he's got like big spines and stuff. So, and it's kind of like armored, right? So from his head, we'll go back this way, right? And we'll just add layers of armor first. So we'll just go down like this. So they're kind of like a letter, number sevens or this sort of hills or steps or something going down. And you don't have to do it exactly like mine once you just get the general shape, right? So that's like the back of his neck. Front of his neck will go this way, right? And then you have these like T-Rex sort of veins that they have, right? These sort of bumping skin lines, right? And they can be darker underneath these, like a thicker line because they're shadowed. So you want to just maybe thicken them up a little bit. So they are kind of like veins, right? They all run this way. And they can have like another side, like a lighter line on this side. Right. So that's his neck shape, right? We can see his shoulder there and arms here. So just like a little bit. So we can see like shoulder muscle lines here. Right. And then like his tricep little arm goes that way. Forearm goes off there. And then the bicep is like here somewhere. Very small arms. There's all these skin lines and stuff. So in the other, so like the front of the chest and shoulder. So front of the chest is like here. And then the shoulder on this side here. And the bicep goes off down that way. And then again, like armpit lines and little sort of shoulder lines and stuff. So that's basically the shape, right? So there's loads more spikes and bumps and things things running down his body here, okay? So let's do those. Right, like that, and then sort of a little edge line going this way, just to connect it up to his head, All right? Now these can have sort of wrinkles and kind of textures on them as well, but I'll do all the textures together. That's just their general shape. We'll texture it up like his face, okay? So he's got these spikes then. goes into each one of these ridges. It's like a bone growing out of his back.
like so, and then fins all in between this. So just this like curving lines like this. Right, and then texture now. So you're just gonna add wrinkles, sort of all coming down his body, curving around his body like this. The main part is getting the curve and around his belly then. So you're going these vertical lines first, right? And then you just go across, adding all these wrinkles. And then you can add some to this as well if you want, of course. So the lines to this sort of spiky stuff. So the fins inside here. Mm -hmm. Nice. But in general, that's all you gotta do for texture, really. Right, that is the Tyrannometrodon. Cool dinosaur, hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.